Andre the Giant is capable of leaving carnage in the ring. Just look at the eighth wonder of the world's 15-year undefeated streak for proof. Matches like this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. No matter what, it is impossible to escape the intimidating aura of the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Yeah, even I can't dispute that, Saxon. There is no greater force than the seven foot four, 500 pound giant. Byron, it sounds to me like Canada's Sin City is just as adrenalized for this one as we are. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. Andre the Giant. Incredible. He's calling for it. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from... Styles, a fireman's carry! Tossed around like a rag doll. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Nice kick out there. Every Here we go a second time. I knew it was only a matter of time. Wow, that should be the final. AJ Styles with an easy kick out there. Not yet. Look out. Andre the Giant is measuring. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. There are certain finishers that seem like there's no coming back from. I think if you pulled the WWE locker room, the sit-down splash from the eighth wonder of the world would be number one on that list. You never want to count a WWE superstar out, but I don't see anyone kicking out of a pinfall after they've suffered the sit-down splash from Andre the Giant. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxon. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, and keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Styles, Styles rolls through, but he's got to capitalize now. Tell me what Andre the Giant can do here to improve his chances. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. I think AJ Styles is done playing. I'm not sure how much he has left. And he's able to get the shoulder up. So resourceful. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte 
tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd, surrounded by the WWE Universe. Back in the ring now. Oh, a huge big boot. What a stomp. Good grief. It wasn't even eight months in AJ Styles' WWE career when he defeated Dean Ambrose in the main event of Backlash to become WWE Champion. It was a big end to the first SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view, but I personally thought that AJ's low blow before the Styles Clash put a damper on the pageantry. And he's heading back in. He has him right where he wants him. The end is near for him. Saxton, you fool. The Backlash match was great. Are you telling me that the Lunatic Fringe wouldn't have done something even crazier had that match gone in another minute? Look, even if Styles did take a shortcut to win it, he definitely proved himself afterwards with many great title defenses during his 140-day championship reign. The only strategy I think makes any sense when you go up against Andre the Giant is to utilize the classic boxing technique of stick and move. Land a shot on the big man, then move. Land another shot, then move again. What does Andre the Giant have? Looks like Andre is going to pick up the W here. One of the greatest strikers in the game. Coming up with a plan to go up against the enormous Andre the Giant is literally a superstar's biggest challenge. Corey, the idea you mentioned earlier of trying to stick and move might be the best approach. Both of you have mentioned the stick and move technique as the best way to battle Andre the Giant, and I agree with you, but let's face it, it could be the only way to beat Andre the Giant. Bringing it back between the ropes. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count, any one match, anything goes. Uh oh, AJ Styles may have it. Nothing quite like the phenomenal forearm. Here's his moment, Michael. He's going for it all. This might be it! Oh, my! showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. And AJ Styles walks away with the win.